Well, I've got a bumper sales video that I have to do right now. Otherwise, I'm never going to get it done. It is currently Sunday and the keen viewers of you, if I've released these in chronological order or not, will realise that I am still wearing the same top and the same hat as the last four videos. Because I'm filming all these in the same day. I've been to three car boots today, filmed as I've gone around. I've filmed all the hauls for all three of them. And now I've got to film a sales update video because Emma goes back to work on Monday, which is tomorrow, and she's a teacher. She's been off for six weeks, so my routine has changed. And now it's going to change back. And that's going to take some getting used to. So I can't just come in here in the morning straight away and start doing my stuff. I'm going to have to get Ada ready for school, even though Emma does do a massive part of that. Anyway, who cares? Nobody cares. Emma's going to dress her. I'm going to get her ready once Emma goes at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to take her to school and come back and then we're going to do my work. But I don't want to risk leaving all of this until Monday, so I want to get it done. Because I don't have Ada. No, wait, hold on. That's the reason why. Damn. I have Ada tomorrow. I have Ada all week. Ada's not back yet. So that's why I've got to do it today. I knew there was a reason. I knew there was a reason. Because when I was explaining it, I was thinking, you could, you could do that. Take it to school, come back. Ada's not actually at work, at school tomorrow. Mum's back to work, which means I've got Ada. Ada starts properly next week. How long has this video been going for? A minute and a half. Shut up. Well, I've got a load of sales to do, so I think we'll just have to just crack on and just do it because I've waffled too much. As always, we'll start with Vinted. So with Vinted, there's no fees, no postage, but I do pay tax at the end of every year. £3 for the pair, Vice City and GTA 3. Just recently used those, it's a tester console actually. £18 for the last pair of Adidas Sambas. Rob Sales has picked these up, not sure if he watches the channel or not, but he did reach out and say, have you got any more Sambas to list? So maybe... Maybe not, I'm not sure. But either way, if you do, Rob, really appreciate you, mate. On the way to you tomorrow. Lesson to be learned. Crocs got returned. That actually rhymes. I think I got burned. Sorry. Women's nine. These are actually American sizes. I listed these as women's nines. I got a return. I graciously accepted a return. It was the first time I've ever had to do one on Vinted before. So I didn't really know what I was doing. I always thought that they've got to pay for a postage. Then you've got a battle to pay it back, like sending them over PayPal and stuff. No, there's actually an option for me to pay for the postage, which is what I did. Took it out of my balance. And they came back. I think I sold them originally for like £16. Sold again now for £18 and 12 pence with the correct sizing. Women's US 9, UK 7. Paid £6 from a charity shop. We've sold the two plush. I don't know if I've sold to this chat before or not, but they sent me a message and said, what's your best price? I said, feel free to send me an offer. They sent me an offer of £12, I declined it and sent back £15 and they counted at 14 and then I just left it because I thought, no, they'll sell. And then he paid £15 for them, which is still a bargain. £15 for the pair of these, they owe me a pound for the pair. I've had them for two days. So if you do watch the channel, Robert, I really appreciate you, mate, on their way to you shortly. I don't think he does, though. These ones have gone to Jack now. He asked me what's the best price I'll do on the Monster Jams and the two brick heads. I sent him an offer of 24 24 because I love my weird numbers on Vinted. And he said, how about 24 23 question mark. I just put mother. And he paid, obviously. Jack, really appreciate it. I'm not sure if you want me to give any socials or anything out because I'm pretty sure you are a part of the community, either a commenter or if you make content or not. I'm not 100% too sure. But I really appreciate you, brother. If you do, let me know and I'll stick some on the next one for you. Because I've got two there that I've got to do from previous. In fact, I'll tell you what they are now. SC Cards reached out to me and asked me how much I would sell the rest of the Tekken cards for. I had six packs left. They've been selling consistently for about £14.99 on eBay. So minus postage, minus fees. I said, send me an offer, bro. He sent me an offer of £45 and I accepted. Paid straight into the business account. All I've got to do is pay postage, which is about four quid, if that. So SC Cards... I don't know if I should give your real name out or not. You probably got it on your profile. If you do, it's up there. And then I've just completely waffled again for no reason. But I really appreciate your business, mate. And they're on the way to you very, very shortly. And John reached out. He's the reason why I ended up testing eight or nine PlayStation controllers and some consoles. And I had to use those GTA games to do it. He reached out and said he would like some PlayStation 3 controllers. No, PlayStation 2 controllers. Three of them. About a month ago. And it's taken me this long to finally get around to them and get into them. I messaged him back saying I haven't got around to them yet, mate. I will. And then he messaged me saying he needs an Xbox power brick as well. So I was like, right, that's it. I'm just going to test all this stuff because I have actually pulled that basket out in the recent days as well. So it's just nice timing. So I tested seven controllers out of seven of them. Only three of them work. One of them was a different one. And I sold him the two black ones and the Xbox power brick for, I think it was £25 all in. So I really appreciate that, John. It's for his son, I do believe. So thank you, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. And they'll be on their way to you shortly. Thank you.
The GameCube controller that I paid five pounds for, it's tested, fully working. I stuck it into an, 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 an stuck it into a Nintendo Wii. Everything's working great on it. So for fifteen pound on Vinted, we're still on Vinted, guys. We are still on Vinted. Leone has picked up the Joker. Thank you so much, Leone. This sold along with the Batmobile within ten minutes of me listing them. I listed them quite cheap. Obviously, it's been stored and it's got like dust and whatever else on it. The box isn't perfect, but the figure's still good inside. And if you want to display it, you could still get away with displaying it. Leone's picked this up for £9, I think. So massively appreciate you, my lovely. On its way to you shortly. Paid £10 for a big bundle. £10, no, £13 I paid for the Lego things I showed you above, plus this, and plus this, and I think some else, which is sold. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. We'll get around to them in a minute. And the Funkos. I'm losing track. So as mentioned, we've also sold the Batmobile, which was part of that £10 deal. James has picked this up for £7.96. He said, much love, brother. Much love to you, James. Appreciate it, mate. On its way to you very, very shortly. And that's it for Vinted. Don't know what I said all that for. We've had an Instagram sale now to the one and only Zaheer Malik. Only cool stuff has picked up this Daenerys and Dragon Funko set for £20. That was also part of the £13 bundle that I've sold most of that from as well. So I've sold everything apart from the Schleck and the Pop figures, which I think... John wants those, John Briggs. So I need to reach out to you once I've got them done. But Zaheer, even though he unfollowed me, I still did him a good deal because I love him. I love him. He tells me he didn't unfollow me on purpose. I was like, shut up, mate. I know what I'm like. I know sometimes people need a break from me. Whatever, I'm only joking, Zaheer. Massively appreciate you, brother. On its way to you for £20. Then I might keep Daenerys, though, unfortunately, because... No, she's a bit weird in pop form, isn't she? So here's like one of the OGs that he could stab me in the face, do whatever he wants to me, set me on fire, went off with my girlfriend. I'd still, I'd still love it. Moving over to eBay. Robert's Radio paid £6 for this one. It has sold for £31.49. DAB, quite a sort after model, this one, believe it or not. Play CD and the CDs still play well. Don't just overlook them. The three wood planes, you've already seen them. I've packed them up. They're ready to go now. I've just got to slap a label on them. <laughs> Starting to make our way through the cables that I was sorting out from the IKEA. We've sold this one now for $13.99 all in. Have to list them cheap on eBay, unfortunately, because the competition is just rife with things like that. And I want to get through it all. £15 all in is this Matchbox Super Fast Train and Carriages bundle. We've got a train and we've got three carriages. They're a bit dusty. They're a bit used, but they're still in fantastic physical condition. £15 all in. Part of that £5 box I got from that lady, which all the pocketeers and stuff. And the lovely French lady. Mwah. £25 all in. We have sold the Rotring set. Remember when I told you when I was listing, there was only one available for like $80 or something like that, £80. I listed this a hell of a lot cheaper. £25 all in. Paid £1 or £2. I think it was £2 for one, £1 for the other. I sold the other one already for like £26 something like that finally sold for 29.99 bear in mind some of these might actually have seven percent offers on so i'm on my ipad here i can't see the exact figure so it's either going to be the figure i've said or minus seven pound i'm not going to try and inflate the figures to for my ego i've got no ego when it comes to what you guys think i sell my stuff for i just tell you what sells so you can learn to keep an eye out for it as well not to prove anything so it's either going to be what i say or minus seven percent give or take £29.99 pence for this lovely hill figure bag. It doesn't have stains on it. It just looks like that in the camera when you change the light. Really, really nice condition. That was £2 from a car boot sale. I think that went two cycles as well, believe it or not. Unreal. £6.49 for a Sony remote control. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it's one of the most subpar controls you can sell, basically. £14.99. Rafiki has flown himself out of the door, even though he doesn't fly because he's a monkey. Paid £1.50 for that from a charity shop. £24.83 for FIFA 19, the Legacy Edition, on the PlayStation 3. Part of that £35 PlayStation deal that I sold. I've done about 140 quid out of all of that so far. This just tops it up. In fact, I think that's the last of it, actually. Look out for the FIFA 19 Legacy Edition on the PlayStation 3. So as well. Legacy Edition across the top. I think there is just a FIFA 19 edition. I believe this has extra teams or something. Updated kits and squads only. Who knows? And the lenticular Astro Boy card wallet that I picked up from the charity shop for 50p has sold 
for 20 pounds 20 pounds what a lovely sale don't mind that and a very strange sale now vintage coat hanger cleaning and pressing coat the quick service parade street london i don't know if it came with something or whatever i had it hanging up on the wall for ages because it was just a coat hanger to me sold it for eight pound all in i actually got a message saying eight pound is all i'm willing to pay I'm like, all right just send me the offer just send me the offer for some reason i'm quite petty when people leave me things like that it makes me always want to go no 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 i will not is it here has been done I've got the Tekken done, I've got the PS2 controller bundle done, we've done the Vinted and we've done the eBay. That is all of the sales going out. To anyone who's purchased from me, whether you watch the channel or not, which is a bit weird because I'm speaking to people that are living in London, I'm speaking to them. Thank you, I appreciate it. And unless I'm being incredibly thick and stupid, that is it. Let me just check. Yeah, that's done. Blimp Vintage jackets sent out. Done. I've already mentioned that, haven't I? So there we go. Three car boot sales have been done. Three car boot sale hauls have been filmed and the sales haul for the weekend has been done. And I'm going to pack this stuff up now and get it all off my table and into a bag and get it ready to go. Oh, quick little tip for you. Don't know if it's the same in your local area, but a lot of post offices are now doing every. And my post office man gave me a bag and said, fill that up. And when you come in next time, just drop it off and I'll scan it in my own time. And he did the last time. And I've had all my notifications come through. He's done it. So now I'm going to, it's almost like I've got a free drop and go service, basically. So I'll fill that up, drop them into him, and I'll go wait and queue somewhere else with the rest of them. Fantastic. So go and check your post offices if you're an every user. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. I'm going to do this, and then I think I'm going to go to bed, if I'm honest. Or maybe I might just go to bed now. Ta-ra.